All right, let's go. Everyone knows about Robert Downey Jr. playing Doctor Doom in the uh, MCU. He'll appear in an Avengers movie, maybe an FF movie, Fantastic Four. We don't know. But Alan, if you would pull up the story, apparently he turned down a cameo playing Iron Man. I I think I think that was smart. If you would read the story, but before sure, well, very go ahead. Because if you're going to do that, you really, really want to save it for a great moment. Alan, please read the story. <laughs> All right. Deadpool and Wolverine co-writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick revealed in an interview with IndieWire that Robert Downey Jr. was courted to reprise Tony Stark slash Iron Man for a cameo in Marvel's latest record-breaking blockbuster. Downey turned the offer down, which, is, uh, which now makes sense to the writers as he's returning to Marvel in a larger and shockingly different capacity as Dr. Doom. No one on the Deadpool and Wolverine, Wolverine team knew about Downey's curveball of a, of a return. We wanted him to do a cameo. We had written that scene to start with Happy and Downey, uh, Wernick said. The scene in question is toward the beginning of Deadpool and Wolverine, where Ryan Reynolds' work with a mouth has used Cable's time machine to jump over the sacred timeline in order to pitch himself for a spot in the Avengers lineup. Deadpool has a meeting with John Favreau's Happy Hogan, who rejects him since Deadpool is too self-centered for the Avengers and not just a team player. The original idea for that scene was to also have Downey's Tony Stark in the room. Wow. wow. Um, it would have got, I, I just think, too soon. If you're going to have Downey uh, come back as Tony Stark, Iron Man, you got to save it. Or a big moment. It, as a one-off joke, it would have mm -hmm. been wasted. So it was smart move. Uh, would have made that scene a lot better. Maybe they should have had a different cameo. Some other Avenger in that cameo. But um, uh, smart. But it sounds like that the Deadpool, we keep hearing about what things might have happened or things they planned and didn't do. Um, that script went through a lot of changes and they had a lot of options. So I'm curious if they'll show there is the, um, the Cavalrine, you know, Henry, Henry Cavill as Wolverine was a much longer scene. It was, it was like a longer scene that occurred. It wasn't a simple joke, little cameo. It was a full on scene with Henry Cavill as Wolverine. So I'm hoping when the Blu-ray comes out, they'll have all the deleted scenes and, and uh, you know, commentary that will reveal this stuff. But that's that's pretty awesome. Any thoughts, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it, you, you get it. I mean, it would have been. I don't know that it would have been cool though. I, I think they did it right, uh, just having Happy Hogan and uh, and they made a really good joke about why he wasn't there. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you're sitting on big news like that, uh, you know, it was good on him for not for not spoiling it and uh, making the choice for the. Uh, for the, uh, the choice that benefited the larger picture.